Hello everyone and welcome to this Base14 tutorial for Base14.com. My name is Tyler Coffer and I'm going to be your guide for today and we're going to be talking about 2D animation compositing in After Effects. Uh, some of the earlier tutorials that I did were about character animation in Flash and I got a lot of follow-up questions about how I do compositing with backgrounds and how I do camera movements. So today I'm going to show you how that's done. This is what we're going to be making today. Uh, it's an animated penguin and walking around an uh, Antarctic environment here. Uh, and specifically, I'm going to be showing you how to get him from Flash into After Effects, how to get uh, some of this multiplaning going on, and how to get this shadow in here. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up our FLA file. Again, you can download these files from my website, and the link is under the movie information on your right. And um, so what we have here is a character animation that I drew uh, on a Cintiq tablet. A uh, little penguin walking along. This is five seconds of animation. And uh, you'll notice that it's uh, on a single layer here. No background. Um, just the raw character animation. And what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to give us a transparency area that will allow us to successfully composite it with the background in After Effects. So what we need to do is export it in a way that will allow us to maintain that transparency for successful compositing. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say export, export movie, and uh, I'll go ahead and export to my desktop here. I'm going to make a new folder just specifically for this animation called Penguin Animation. And um, inside here, uh, I just need a regular uh, file name, and what, when Flash exports this, it's going to append uh, numerical, numerals to it uh, because instead of a, a Swift movie or an AVI or QuickTime, what I need is a ping sequence, uh, because specifically because I'm exporting it with an embedded transparency, pings are the best delivery method for that. Uh, so when I hit save, it'll bring up my export ping dialog options. I work in full 1080p, so I'm going to keep those resolutions. Make sure it's set to the full document size with a 24-bit with alpha channel, as that alpha channel is what's going to give us that transparency that we want. Hit OK, and it'll start exporting. Uh, go ahead and let this. Uh, export and we'll come right back when it finishes. Alright, so we're done exporting. Uh, now we can go ahead and minimize Flash and jump over to After Effects. Uh, just make sure you have a new uh, clean project ready to go here. And so the first thing we're going to need to do is import our animation that we made here on the desktop. Um, when you're importing a sequence of images, here's all our images that we made. Each new picture is one of our frames. You just need to click on the very first one, 0001. Make sure that ping sequence is checked here in After Effects, and then it's going to import it as footage and hit open. And what After Effects does is it treats all of these images like a single piece of footage. So that way we can uh, move it around and operate it like it's an AVI or QuickTime. Um, and the other thing that we want to do right as soon as we import it is go down to Interpret Footage by right clicking on it. Go to Interpret Footage Main. And um, you want to set your frame rate to what you were using in Flash. So, for example, I always work at 24 FPS, and in this case, it's the default's always 30. So if you're working in 12 frames per second or 24, uh, you need to make sure you come and you change this, or else everything's going to get all goofed up. So the next thing I need to do is make a new composition. I'm going to go with uh, my HDTV 1080 24 frames per second. Make sure it's all set to that, and I'm going to need 5 seconds of animation for this particular clip and hit OK, and it's going to make my new composition, and I can go ahead and drag my an character animation into the timeline at this point. So if I go ahead and I scrub the timeline, I can see my penguin walk along successfully. But, uh, it's uh, kind of boring right now, just a black background, actually transparent. So uh, the other thing I need to do is I need to bring in a background here, so I've got an Antarctic uh, background that I can import. Uh, I'm just going to bring it in as a merge layer and uh, drag that onto there, and so I have this background uh, ready to go. Um, and there's some other cool tricks that I'm going to show you, because um, right now what we have is a basic uh, penguin walk across here, but uh, it's not too convincing yet at this point. So I think the other thing that, uh, that I like to do is I'll show you how to do some multi-planning and uh, show you how to get a shadow in there. So let's go ahead and start with the shadow. Uh, this is a really cool trick that uh, I've seen several other people do, and you can do it in After Effects, just like you can do it in Flash. If you click on your penguin layer and you do Control D on Window, um, you get a duplicate of this layer, and then you can use this duplicate as a, uh, a shadow layer. 
uh, if you just apply a few effects to it. So I'm going to find the transform effect. And I'm going to grab this. It's under the distort category. I'm going to drag it onto my bottom layer here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a skew of negative 50. And I'm going to set my skew axis to 90. And that's going to give me a, a sideways skewed penguin here. And then I can crush that down a bit in order to make it, give it kind of the angle of a shadow. And I'm going to match it up with his feet at the beginning of the timeline here. And I'm going to hit the P key to get my position uh, keyframes. I'm going to turn on my keyframing. And I'm going to go to end the timeline and I'm going to hit the keyframe button again. And then I'm going to reposition my shadow layer. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow the shadow to follow the main peg one across the entire five seconds of animation. And because it's just the same layer of animation distorted, it transforms the same way as my main character, except now it's distorted like a shadow would be across the ground. So the next thing I need to do is make it look a bit more shadow-like. So I'm going to get rid of all the color. I'm going to find my brightness and contrast effect. So I'm going to apply a brightness and contrast to it, uh, both of them at negative 100. And then I'm also going to apply a Gaussian blur. About, uh, I think about 30 would be good. So now what we get is something that looks much more shadow-like. The other thing that will be good is if we hit the T key to get our opacity and turn that down to about 30. So that way uh, it's a bit more like a real shadow as he walks across here. So we got a penguin, we got uh, a shadow. Let me show you the other thing that uh, that's sort of neat is uh, how easy it is to do multiplaning in After Effects. So as our penguins walk across here, let's say that uh, the camera's kind of following him, which means that our background and foreground elements would have a bit of a multiplaning effect. So uh, to do the same thing uh, that we did with the shadow layer, we're going to set some position keyframes. So I'm going to hit P to bring up my position at the uh, beginning of the timeline. I'm going to hit the stopwatch to set a keyframe for the start of my background. And I move to the end, and I'm going to hit this diamond again and set a new position, and I'm just going to move my background over. And so what that gives me is a very gentle tween of the background as the penguin walks along, uh, because things in the background move much slower. Now we can add to this by adding a foreground element, so I'm going to find my south pole here, import it as footage, and this has a uh, transparency effect, so when we pull this on, it's going to be clear as well. And we, if we pretend that this is in front of the penguin, and drag it out to uh, the front here, and do the same thing, hit P, set a keyframe, and uh, move to maybe about halfway through it, set another keyframe, and then drag it all the way across the screen, what's going to happen is that this foreground element will move much faster than the background element. And that creates an illusion of depth with the foreground elements versus the background elements, and that's what we call multiplaning. And you can see how extremely easy it is to do in After Effects. Um, you can do additional things like applying uh, depth of field blurs and uh, more three-dimensional effects using the three-dimensional layers tools to get uh, more, but that's a very basic way of achieving uh, a very desirable effect. So. In the end, you get something that looks a little bit like this, and uh, it's very effective, very convincing. And uh, we got uh, all that, the multiplaning, the shadow, and uh, the walking background with uh, not too much trouble at all. So that's about all the time we have for this tutorial, so I definitely would like to thank you for watching. Uh, for more tutorials, please visit my website at www.base14.com. And until next time, my name is Tyler Kupfer, and uh, thanks for watching.